video review. And thanks to the folks over at NECA, today we'll be taking a look at the brand new Water Emergence Predator from the Predator movie. Featuring all new additional articulation also comes with a trophy skull and a removable backplate. And as you can see, there's a skull right there, and I have determined who that is a skull of. I asked NECA, and they said that it's just a random one, but I named it. I dubbed it the Optobotomous Skull, and they said that's okay. So, the official name for this, this is Optobotomous' skull right there. So if you guys get this figure, you will have the skull of me, basically. Because, according to Randy Falk, who's the, uh, the product developer, uh, the Predator likes hunting small heads. Clearly, he doesn't know me too terribly well, because my ego does not allow me to have a very small head. <laughs> But this is a really cool uh, variant for this figure. Uh, as you can see, it is partially cloaked. This this replicates how he how he looked when he came out of the water after jumping down, chasing after Dutch. And as he emerged, his his cloaking technology was a little bit messed up. And you can see some really cool lightning effects going throughout there. Very very cool. You come around here to the side. You got the 25th anniversary logo. Then on the back, you got the other figures that are currently out with Wave Nine. That being the Jungle Encounter Dutch, obviously the Water Emergence Predator. And finally, the Jungle Disguise Dutch right there, or Mudman. And then you take a look at the bio up here. It says, deep in the Central American jungle, the Predator is hunting humans for sport. Armed with his plasma caster, wrist blades, and cloaking technology, the Predator methodically stalks and kills opponents he deems worthy. The Jungle Predator collects the skulls and spines of his victims as trophies and skins his prey, leaving the bodies hanging from trees. When a Special Forces team is dispatched on a rescue mission, they soon become the Predator spray so again very iconic scene and i absolutely love how they're able to kind of recreate that same look with the, the lightning effect this is definitely a figure i was really looking forward to when i first saw it released or revealed utilizing the, the new articulation for the figure uh, this guy should be absolutely fantastic so let's get him open and see how cool he actually is so here we have the Water Emergence Predator open up and out of its packaging. And again, NECA has done a tremendous job recreating one of the more iconic scenes from the Predator movie. While the Predator is hunting Dutch, Dutch jumps into a, a giant lake trying to escape from this guy. But the Predator soon follows. And as he comes out of the water, his cloak is basically damaged. And that's what you're looking at here. You have a partially cloaked figure, mostly uh, done in this very kind of smoky kind of clear plastic which is really very cool and then as you can see throughout the body you have all these wonderfully painted kind of blue electric bits that really kind of highlight the fact that his cloak is kind of like sparking and falling apart now uh, my only kind of nitpick I, I would love to have seen more I mean, like, a lot of these little spark images here. I, I, I just think that it's really very cool. And the paint on it is absolutely fantastic. I mean, it's a very reflective blue paint, almost giving kind of like a glowing effect to it. Zooming in so that you can see it a little bit more. I mean, like I said, my lights are really reflecting off it nicely. I just, I just would prefer it a lot more of it. Uh, I think it's a terrific effect and really stands out nicely. Now, the only thing that's not smoky kind of plastic would be his blades, which are very hard to see. I'll, I'll go like that uh, that's full translucent clear plastic and then his small uh, kind of trophy skulls here are also full uh, translucent you got that you got the uh, like spine here on the back and then you got his neck piece as well everything else is done in the in the smoky color uh, even his actual cannon here in the back that the backpack for it is a uh, smoky translucent I mean it's a wonderful effect neck really is one of the best at creating a cloaked looking figure for his other accessory, he does come with the Optobotomous Skull, which, again, there's a wonderful amount of detail in here. I mean, even on the bottom, you can see where the, the spinal cord goes up into the brain area. I mean, this is a wonderful, wonderful skull. Now, you got all the cracks and lines and everything through the actual top. Everything about this is just absolutely perfect. They, these guys really know how to create skulls. I, I think a lot of them just sit around making skulls just for the heck of it because these things really come out looking absolutely phenomenal. I mean, the paint wash on here i mean it, it looks like a little miniature skull i mean it really really does and then like i said the other accessory that he comes with is is his backpack as well as the uh, the plasma caster right here which is in the same kind of translucent plastic now as i mentioned this does feature the new articulation in the updated uh predator figure so 
for a size comparison, well, not even a size comparison, just a comparison just in general, here's this guy, and here's the uncloaked version, and as you can see, they are basically the same figure, just the, the plastic has been molded in the, the cloaking look, but it does feature the same articulation that this figure had. That being uh, his head is on this very nice ball joint, you get a nice range of motion. Uh, it is a little bit more limited when you have the plasma caster here on his shoulder, so you can't get him looking completely the opposite direction because his hair kind of gets in the way. He can look this way, but then when he goes around and looking this way, his hair gets in the way. Now, you can move his hair around because it is a, a softer, pliable, rubbery plastic as well, but it is a little bit more hindered there. The arms move in and out. They move forward and they move back. Uh, this bit pops off. The elbows move forward and back. They also rotate, but this one you do want to be careful because you have this very soft rubber uh, hose right attached to them. Uh, it, it only gets, if it, it only creates a problem if you try going 360 degrees. I mean, otherwise, normal motion isn't going to make anything happen. I mean, I love how you can bend it, and it doesn't really put any kind of stress on that. It's still fairly loose, so that's not going to pop off anytime soon. Same articulation here on this arm. The, the blades do move in and out, which it's hard to see. The wrists here are on ball joints. you got the, the hand on this side. You have the, or I'm sorry, the, the hand and a fist on this side. you got the open hand on this side. The waist here is uh, on a bit of a ball joint. It's, it's a little bit more limited. Now, I do believe it's a ball joint, or maybe it just rotates from side to side, but um, it's hard to, hard to actually see. I don't think, now nah, I think it just rotates side to side. But the hips here, much more improved. They move in and out. They rotate at the upper part of the thigh. They move forward and back. The knees here bend at two joints. Then you come around here to the foot, and then the foot is on this nice ball joint. So you can get it bending outward, inward, forward, back, really kind of whatever you want to do. This thing's articulation is so much better than the early early Predators that we got that it, it really does make me wish that they would go back and kind of redo some of those. But now I am happy that they are giving us the main ones with this new kind of articulation. Now, much like the Dutch figure, now I, I do think that this is a very kind of niche particular not figure, I suppose. It nicely replicates that scene in the Predator movie. And for someone like me, I really do appreciate it. And I love having a figure to represent that. But I could see a lot of collectors kind of passing on this one and just getting the standard predator figure as their display piece it really is kind of personal preference but regardless i love this guy and highly recommend picking him up now this guy as well as the rest of the wave nine will be hitting toys r us and comic book stores fairly soon so keep your eyes open if you are interested in picking this guy up or to make things a little bit easier if you are interested go ahead and click on the link down in the video description you'll go to big bad toy store and you can pick up this guy as well as the rest of wave nine and add some really awesome figures to your collection but that's about it guys so once again i want to thank you for tuning in this has been optobotomous keep in touch with me find our recent purchases as well as all upcoming video reviews all at facebook.com slash teambotomous and follow me over on twitter at twitter.com slash optobotomous and until next time i'll talk to you later Gonna